from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Friday, June 16th. So today we have the moon in Gemini all day. Of course, we're building towards the new moon in Gemini taking place very late Saturday night for some of us and very early morning Sunday for most of us. Now, this is definitely going to be a lot of pressure in the mental plane, considering the fact that we're in Gemini season, we are in the moon being in Gemini, and of course, Mercury is in his place or in Gemini energy, which means that there is all kinds of cluster apps in our headspace. Too many tabs open, too many windows open, too much confusion, not enough information, not enough clarity. That is what this new moon in Gemini is all about. Download the moon guide if you haven't already. This is also the last day that Saturn is going to be direct. Saturn's going retrograde here tomorrow in this Pisces energy and from now until November taking us all the way back to a zero degree in Pisces that we first experienced back in March. Take a listen to that astro forecast as well. So there are nine different aspects here today. Eight of them will involve the moon. The moon is going to interact with the true node. The true node is our soul path, our destiny point, the path that we need to be on to reach our soul's potential. The moon, of course, our emotions in this Gemini energy has a huge division between our heart space and our head space, definitely not in alignment there. And because of that, there is a super amount of confusion on the steps forward, on the path, on the plan, on the strategy that we need to kind of take and make in order to see some progress in our physical realms to get us on the right path to get us in moving forward. The moon is going to interact with Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger, who is in this Leo energy, the heart and soul of the zodiac. So this is actually a very good energy because it means that we are sorting through our emotions as we are sorting through our thoughts and our ideas. And from that discomfort, from that cluster effery, we are starting to realize where there is a new inspiration, a new motivation to move forward and to make some progress especially in creating a life that is filled with happiness and joy and passion and creativity. And of course, this inspiration, this excitement, this passion, this desire is needed to be ignited in order for us to have the willpower, the determination, the motivation to actually do what we have to do to push through the blockages and obstacles in order to actually pursue the path of happiness. The moon will then semi-square with Chiron. This isn't going to feel good. Uh, Heads up, we're not going to feel good for a couple of days here. We're in the new moon, the dark phase of the moon, which means that there is no illumination in the sky. We have to sit in the funk. We have to sit in the discomfort in order to figure out what it is that we've outgrown, what it is that we no longer want to experience. And from that, create a framework on what it is that we would like to build in the place of the things that we're currently not in alignment with. The Chiron energy being the wounded healer is definitely putting us at a very difficult situation and position in our current circumstances because we don't know who we are. We don't know who we have to be in order to create this new version of our circumstances, of our reality. We are going through an adjustment period, which means that there's going to be a lot of negative narratives that need to come up, a lot of negative emotions that come up in order for us to feel as uncomfortable as we could possibly feel in order to arrive at solutions. The moon will then interact with Jupiter. Jupiter is the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings, who's in this Taurus energy, helping us to very slowly but surely build a reality that not only feels safe and secure and stable, but that looks good and feels good at the same time. We have a year to do this. However, Jupiter tends to magnify, turn the volume all the way up, whatever it is that we're thinking and feeling. And right now, we don't know what we're thinking and feeling. It's a cluster F in there. So it is going to amplify some of the confusion, some of the uncertainties that we're currently sitting in. The moon in Gemini will get into the boxing ring and square off, square with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, who of course is preparing to go retrograde. This particular energy is definitely a little bit of a reality check, a little bit of a negative Nancy, a little bit of a Debbie Downer, if you will. We're having a hard time articulating what it is that we're thinking, feeling. We're having a hard time communicating and expressing anything outside of our physical bodies. We seem to be cluster F, cluster blood locked, if you will, in our thought processes, in our ability to kind of problem solve, if you will. There is a huge amount of confusion that's really pressurizing us to kind of 
figure everything out yesterday. And of course we cannot do that. And this is just amplifying where it is that we feel blocked, restricted and held back from actually coming up with new ideas, a new quest, a new objective, if you will, to actually move towards. The moon will then come up to bump into conjunct with Mercury. Mercury, of course, rules over the Gemini energy, is in rulership over Gemini season, in rulership because Mercury is in his place of power in Gemini and is about to rule over this new moon in Gemini as well. So there's a lot of pressure, a lot of power taking place in the mental plane here. The moon is our heart space, Mercury is our head space, and right now we are a tad bit in alignment, just a tad. Don't expect it to stay around for very long, don't expect there to be profound epiphanies or aha moments, but we are gaining a little bit more information, a little bit more details that we've been lacking in order to provide us with a little bit more clarity to the confusion that we're definitely still sitting in. The moon will then make a positive interaction with Neptune. Neptune, of course, in Pisces energy. This is a positive interaction. And let me just give you a heads up. We will have Neptune be a key star player here in the new moon in Gemini but not in the most favorable way. Instead of providing, you know, new inspiration, new dreams, new visions, new epiphanies, we are going to have a new layer of confusion, of fog, of, uh, I'm going to say, delusionment setting upon us for this new moon in Gemini. That is essential before clarity breaks through, just a reminder. But before we get there, the moon interacting with Neptune in this way is kind of channeling a new level of our higher selves. We are kind of more spiritually oriented than normal, and we are able to kind of quickly recover, if you will, from some of the negative narratives that are popping off here today. We are realizing where it is that we are a little bit more sensitive and defensive even uh, in our conversations and in our interactions. And we are kind of seeing where it is that everything seems to be a little bit much. Now, granted, this is a positive interaction, so it's going to illuminate for us where we do need to renew, refresh, revive, recalibrate our soul, our spiritual selves. Um, and again, a lot of this Mercury and Gemini energy is focused on the egoic intellect. The Neptune and Pisces is bringing the magic back from our higher self. So this is definitely a good vibe that could lead to a little bit of a inspirational pep talk inside of ourselves. The moon will then sextile with Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, money in the heart and soul of the Zodiac in Leo energy. This particular interaction is definitely going to kind of have us a little bit more empathetic, a little bit more compassionate, a little bit more heartfelt than we have been. If we are able to actually articulate what it is that's going on inside of us, you will realize that we have a little bit more empathy, a little bit more compassion, a little bit more sensitivity when it comes to our heart and soul, especially in our relationship dynamics that we're trying to sort out and rebalance. Just in time for Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how we express ourselves to make a positive interaction with Neptune in Pisces. So this is going to encourage us to have conversations, even if we can't articulate correctly what it is that we're thinking and feeling. It is kind of prompting us to have uh, a, a conversation in order for us to be as open hearted as we could possibly be with some of the conflict that we are currently realizing going on in our mental plane. And of course, the conflict, because we're moving into a new moon, the conflict, the discomfort is actually the key, the clue, the hint that we need in order to identify what it is that we need to move away from and in doing so figure out a direction and a path that we can pursue in moving closer to some of the elements that are now calling for our time, our energy and our attention.